Hello everyone, my name is Eggy Hope and this is Factorio. I'm starting a brand new game just uh, to, to um, do a video on this. There we go, this is Factorio. There's my little guy that you start as, little engineer. And um, you basically need to start building up some automation stuff from almost literally nothing. So what do we have? We have a mining drill and a furnace, some fuel and some plates. So the first thing I'm going to do is put our mining drill on the coal. Put the wood in. That's fuel. Now I'll mine up some coal and it puts it on the floor. I press F there and I can pick up the coal. And from there I can put the coal in as fuel instead. Now um I think I need some more iron plates for this. So um first thing I'll do is quickly Drop down a couple of trees. Do do do. Yep, so this is now mining coal, using coal to power it, and it's putting the coal into the furnace. And now, if I manually mine some iron, six lots of iron ore. If I put that in here, that will cook up into iron plates. Now, what did I need for the... So, the first burner mine drill needs a total of nine iron and, oh yeah, some stone. Okay, let's pick up stone. That was five I needed, wasn't it? Yeah, five stone. And now I've got plates, so I can build one more burner mining drill. I'm going to remove this and place down this chest. So all the coal is going to go in there f temporarily. Okay, first thing I'm going to do then is start getting iron coming in automatically. So I'm going to place this on here. And I'm going to place this next to it. Fuel them both. And that'll last for a little while, and that'll start filling up with iron plates for me over time. All I need is uh, more stone and more iron so I can build some more of them. So I need five more for one more. And I need ten, I guess, for a furnace and a, another drill. No, I guess I'm going to go five because I just need one drill for the stone and a wooden box. Okay, so a drill and another box. So I'm going to have this drill getting stone for me. Let's put it closer. So there'll be plenty of stone in there for me when I need it. Do, 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 do. So as you can see, this is about um, getting things automated from the start. I've set up two of these mining stone just so it's a bit quicker so I can build two more mining drills there another furnace and another furnace so slowly over time you start to build more things
And the more things you build, the quicker you can build even more things. Because they start gathering things quicker. So let's set up, set up a second iron mining bit. So there is an achievement to do this and to play this game without building more than 111 items with your player character. Um, which I actually did already. Uh, if I can find it. There you go, lazy bastard. I've actually achieved that. Win the game by crafting them all 111 items and manually. And um, winning the game means building everything up to and including launching a shuttle into orbit, which takes more than you think, believe me. That's basically when you've got every single thing in the game built to gather everything you need to build the rocket. It takes quite a lot of resources. Um, so you basically have to get automation going really early and then literally set up machines to build everything you need so that you don't do things like building these manually all the time because as soon as you get past the 111 of those built by your player character that's when you uh, you fail that achievement basically There we go, I've got 46 of these now. The plates, that is. And almost a couple of stacks of stone. Get another burner, and burner one going. So here you go, I've set up a chain with these six coal mining ones, which all feed into each other. And uh, one coal fuel powers the mining of about four or five more. So eventually all of these will fill each other up till they've got 50 in each and stop working. And then I can just keep emptying them manually. So as you can see down the bottom right, bottom left, there's a lot of things I'm building in the queue there. Uh, next thing to do is start gaining copper. So I'm just going to set up a small... Copper mining set up. Grab all the coal I can get. Cool, so I've got five lots of um, copper miners now. These are mining copper ore, putting the ore into here and smelting it into copper plates. Plenty of stone on the go, that's good. We now need to expand the iron mining. Now iron I tend to use a lot more of in, well, you always use a lot more of in building things. So this is just a temporary um, way of getting everything we need. Okay, that's five lots of iron producing, five lots of copper. Now we've got some copper plates, that's lovely. Got some iron plates, now we can start actually producing things en masse, or in big groups as it were. So, um, next stage is to, well I'm going to double up the iron first. There's quicker ways to put fuel in these things, but I um I like to do this manually to make sure I've got enough fuel for all the other stuff. And that fuel two. Okay good, so that's ten lots of cop of uh, iron on the go. Two water pumps. So, first thing we need is to place down the water pumps over here. Two of them. 
So they'll pump water automatically. You don't need to power them or anything. Um, I need some water pipes. Let's build some of those and then lots of those. So it's quite a slow game at first, but once you start building up your resources, you end up expanding pretty quickly. Let's pick up all the copper. Lots of copper now, that's lovely. That needs some fuel. So all I'm doing there is holding the control key and clicking on each one of those buildings and they just deposit the completed materials into my bags. Right, okay, so I need one, two, three, one, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, um, every water pump can pump enough water for um, 20 boilers, I think it was. 60 per second. Um, and 20 boilers, every boiler can supply two steam engines. So I've made 12 boilers. So I'm going to need to make 24 steam engines. It takes a little while because it's got to build all the cogs and pipes first. Uh, we're going to start just up here to make sure there's room for all the things I want. Okay, um, I'm also going to need some bolt pipes. Oh yeah, I've got some of these ones. Let's do this first. some normal ones being built? Yeah, I've got some. Okay. So these need uh, coal putting in them as well to actually boil the water. And then the steam engines connect like that. And then we also need some electrical poles to transfer the power around. Okay, so this is a blueprint now. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's a bit incomplete. We're going to want 
some of these and we're going to want some of these. Okay, we've got some coal in them. They're all burning off. These have all got steam in them. And they're just waiting for something to do. And they won't really do anything until there's something to power. Um, we've got to do this. And we've got to do this. Can hear the steam engines going because they're actually powering these. Yep. Right, um, so we're going to blueprint. this there we go that is a blueprint for our power basic steam power and that blueprint can now go in our book of blueprints I'm going to wait till daytime before I carry on there. So while this has been going, I've probably accumulated a lot of uh, nice plates and things with which to build a few items. Loads of copper. Well, these are really out of fuel, aren't they? Okay. What have we got? We've got plenty of materials now. So the next thing to do is check how long I've been recording for. 27 minutes. Next thing to do is to get some um, fuel automation up and running. Oh yes, so now I can show you this blueprint. So, here we go. So I would place the blueprint there. And that's so that I'm not overlapping the power poles. And um, basically I can place the blueprint and the items don't go down. Just a ghost image of them. Showing me where I can place them, of course. So since I've got all the boilers, I can place them already. Place those and place all the power poles. And I can place the pipes joining all these up so they all get water ready. More power poles over here. Okay. And I can make... I'll put the steam engines in. So, what do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 14 more. Let's 
most of my iron used up, but it will be well worth it. So that's a decent first power setup. I didn't need to build that many. Um, 6 or 12 is a good first amount. But I'm um, going to try and actually expand this. So, um, let's actually let's take up these coal ones. We're going to build our first electric mining drills. 20 of them. I like going for overkill in um, this sort of stuff. Mm, pardon me. No coal left. That's fine. Um, so we can place the steam engines while we're waiting for all that to build. There we go. That's the whole steam set up ready. And uh, I need to extend the power poles up, so we're going to need some more of them as well. Yep, we need to wait till they're built. Uh, however, I do need some more wood, so... Just going to find some trees. Anywhere. Hello, trees. There's some. There we go. There we go. We can make loads more power poles. Okay, the miners are building nicely, so let's go start setting them up ready. And this is going to be way more coal than I need to fuel the power systems initially, and that's the whole point. There's 13 million coal here altogether, easily enough. Now the problem with, see the area this uses to suck up stuff, it, the problem with that is it will suck up uh, some copper every so often as well. So this needs to be placed so that it will only mine coal and the best way to do that I guess is to start there. There we go. Get 
get our belts again. So these will output directly onto the belt on the side that they're facing. Uh, just enough, look at that. Cool, uh, we just need to hook up the power then. And then that will start self-feeding the power supply with coal. So the area these are in will actually power all of these nicely. There we go. First lot of automation set up. All this coal will come back, feed the power systems and produce the power to keep mining coal to supply itself. I also need more of these. Have I got any coal on me? There we go. So coal should be coming down this belt any minute. Feeding into these power supplies. As you can see by some of my blueprints, um, you can see, can I open this? Yeah, there you go. So you can see from this blueprint, um, I'd have miners set up putting ore onto these belts, which then get put in the furnaces and cooked and put in here to go onto a central line. Um, there's a lot of interesting automation you can do in this game. Um, yeah, lots of information, lots of automation. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of automation you can do in this game. Um, as you can see, this is now working perfectly. And it's generating way more power than I need. Um, but it's generating enough to supply itself several times over. As you can see, the coal's being mined extremely fast compared to the old burner drills we had. So, if I were to continue this, next thing to do would be to set up one of these for copper, and one of these for iron, and a little one for stone. Start gathering more of those, set them onto automation, and probably build a central line belt where we would have every product coming in to feed into other things later. Um, but there you go, that's all I've got time for today, unfortunately. So this has been, um, what day are we on? The 6th of December? It's been the 6th of December. Um, this has been Factorio, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like, and subscribe if you're not already. If you'd like to see more Factorio, um, I could do an actual playthrough of this and series. Uh, just leave a comment in the comment box down below. And I'll be back tomorrow on day 7, 7th of December, for a different game. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, take care, my friends.